Have a good day. Warning. Just for the official record, do not attempt to recreate or reenact anything that you see in this video. If you do decide to attempt awesome science or physics experiments, always make sure to wear the proper eye protection and make sure that the proper safety precautions are in place. Thank you. Please stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how to enter to win not one, but one of two specially limited edition LAP's Crystal Pepsis. Enjoy the video. Early Beast here. Today what I plan on doing is actually not quite so simple. Because after 37 and a half days of trial and error, I have finally figured out how to shatter this wine glass using nothing but my voice. <laughs> now as a fat kid growing up who loved to eat food, I used to have to wear husky pants and velcro shoes because I was too fat to bend over and tie regular shoes and from that point forward I knew that I had a future in competitive eating. But unfortunately I realized very quickly that I was not born with any musical talent whatsoever including the gift of song as you can clearly see here from my 1991 Christmas recital. <laughs> After studying the physics behind frequency and amplitude, I plan on totally redeeming myself by shattering this wine glass with nothing but my voice. And this is exactly how you do it. Now after watching videos of Jamie Vimdera, who is a vocal coach and wine glass breaking extraordinaire, I've learned that breaking a glass with your voice comes down to three things. Frequency, amplitude, and you must use a crystal glass. Now the first step is to find the natural frequency of the wine glass and that can be achieved by either flinging the glass or wetting your finger and and what that does it causes vibrations within the glass which is also known as resonance and what you're supposed to do is match that frequency molecules within the glass start to vibrate and the next step is amplification and as I'm talking to you right now uh, I think my voice is right around 75 to 85 decibels and in order to break a wine glass uh, you have to reach right around 105 to 115 decibels now when you combine matching the natural frequency of the glass with your voice at an amplitude of about 116 decibels and you hold that note consistently and long enough the molecules within the wine glass will separate because they're vibrating so rapidly and that's what causes the glass to break. I'm going to take a straw and just quickly demonstrate so you can see how much the glass is actually vibrating. There you go. Without further ado, I am the LA Beast, and this upcoming montage will show you exactly what it takes to break a wine glass with your voice. down here in this little shelter in the basement. Gotta hit that E pitch if I could just do it.
Always make sure to wear proper eye protection just in case. Uh, I look like one of those guys from that 70s hockey movie with Paul Newman. I'm an idiot savant. Here we go. I've added an actual uh, a garbage can tray to help bring the resonance back into the glass. So here we go. Day, LA Beast here, and this is this is week number five. Uh, I, I have the range, and I think what I was doing wrong is once I have the the straw pinning, I need to just keep on mooing into the glass. I My leg is not, my leg is not bleeding, holy shit! That was awesome! I, I don't even know what to say, that was, I have been working at this for the past 37 days, and that is how you break a wine glass, using your voice like an absolute boss! Wow! I think I got it. Yes! <laughs> Whatever you do, kids, always make sure to wear eye protection when trying to break wine glasses with your voice. And you know what? Better yet, do not try and break wine glasses with your voice. Wow. I, I am ecstatic. I have been working at this for the past month just sitting down in this tiny little boiler room on that tiny little chair, screaming my face off. And I, I'm pretty sure that the neighbors uh, to the right of me could hear me the entire time. <coughs> on that note, Yes! I am the LA Beast, and that is how you break a wine glass using nothing but your voice. Have a good day! I, I, I just stepped on a shard of glass. I would just like to say thank you for watching this video, and thank you 
for all of your continued loyal support throughout the years. And all you have to do to enter to win one of two LA Beast Limited Edition Crystal Pepsis, where there's only 37 left in existence, is click this link, which is in the top of the description box. And basically all you have to do is subscribe to, to one of my social media pages on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and boom, you're entered to win. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope that everybody has a good day.